हेलो 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 बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स कैन यू हियर मी हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Hello. 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 Good morning. Good morning, my dear students. How are you? Okay. Okay, can you please turn off your your microphones so we can start our session for today okay are you ready okay let's start today okay please mute your microphones yes Okay, let's read our story for today. Okay, are you all ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you have your story with you? <clears throat> Yes. Okay, let's start. Today, we are going to read our story, Grace Darling. Grace is the name of a brave girl who saved the passengers of the Forfarshire ship from drowning. So it's a true story. It's a true story about Grace and her father who saved a broken ship in the middle of the sea. Okay, so our heroine for today is Grace Darling. This is the name of the girl. So, it's a true story of Grace Darling, a girl who became famous for being so brave on a stormy night, and she was able to save the passengers from drowning, and all the newspaper wrote about this uh, one day. Now, let's open page three and follow with me. Chapter one, the four far shire. This is the name of the ship. Here we have a small part of the newspaper, which is an English newspaper called the Times. And the date is 19th September, 1838. On the afternoon, of the 6th of September, the steamship for Farshire started its journey from Hull to Dundee. So, the name of the ship 
is the four for Shire and it started its journey from Hull to Dundee in Scotland. What do I mean by steamship? This means that it moves with the engines. It's moved with engines. This means that it can't move with tails. Yani the wind can't move this ship. There were 60 people on the four far shire, which was a modern and comfortable ship. There was a strong northeast wind that afternoon, but at first no one was afraid. So, engines means like motor. Engines mean that this ship Yes, don't speak in Arabic. Okay, it moves with a motor. Yani, it can't move with a sail because it's not a sailing ship. Okay. Yani, it can't not with a sail. Sail means the um this uh, triangle piece of cloth. Yes, it can't move by the wind. Yani, you can direct it by the wind. Okay. So it moves okay. with the engines, with, with the motor. So it was a modern ship. It was very comfortable. And there were 60 people on, uh, on the deck of the ship. Okay. And one of the passengers, okay. One of the passengers, his name is Daniel Donovan. Daniel Donovan was a passenger on the Four for Shire. He was a young man about 30 years old. Daniel Donovan is one of the passengers who travels on ships or planes. A passenger is someone who travels on ship or planes. He is a young man about 30 and he knows about engines. He was an engineer and he knows a lot about engines. It was difficult to stand on the deck. Deck means the floor of the ship, the top floor of the ship, because the wind was so strong and the ship was moving up and down uncomfortably. Daniel felt ill. Ill means that he became dizzy. You understand? Then a big wave hit the side no, of the no. ship. Dizzy, what's the meaning of dizzy? Dizzy, dizzy means that he he he's not stable. Yani he, uh, when you when you are on a boat, okay, and the waves are very high, you feel dizzy. Yani you are not uh, concentrating um, hundred percent. Dizzy, yani like he like he's uh, he's uh, want to uh, throw up. <laughs> يعني حاسس ان هو دايخ اوكي يا بويز اند جيرلز اوكي سو ذا ويز لسه داخل ومش فاهم هو ده ايه ذيس از ذا ستوري اوكي يعني جو اون ويز مي اوكي يا طيب ون اوف اذر اذر باسنجر ون اوف ذا باسنجر هيز نيم از مستر روب هي ديدنت لايك بينج ات سي فيري ماتش هي دوزنت لايك تو بي ات سي اند هي لوكد فيري وارد Okay. This was the meaning of passenger. I said passenger means someone who travels on ships or planes. Okay. Try to follow me, Bab, and don't interrupt me anymore. Close. Okay. So, Mr. Rob, another passenger, doesn't like to be at sea very much and he locked word. He said, but the food for Shire is good modern ship, Mr. Rob, said Mr. Rob. Listen to those fine, strong engines. The engines are very strong, okay? And everyone was safe and they don't feel worried anymore. Okay, let's go to page four. This is the ship and this is the funnel. Funnel is a pipe where the smoke comes out of the ship, okay? 
So we agreed that Mr. Daniel Donovan is, is a young man and he is an engineer and he knew about engines. So he here is Daniel Donovan. He was an engineer, so he knew about engines. Sometimes the four for shire engines made strong noises and the paddle wheels went round slowly. The paddle wheels means the wheels that moves the ship, like in the bicycle. You have wheels that move the ship. Then... Don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. I will read one more time and I will explain, but don't interrupt me um, anymore. Okay? So here we have Mr. Donovan, Daniel Donovan. Okay? This is the ship and you can see that the waves are very high. Massive waves. We have here massive waves that are crashing into the ship okay so mr donovan because he was an engineer and he knew a lot about engines he was not very happy daniel donovan was not very happy why because he can hear some strange noises and the paddle wheels went round slowly what do you mean by paddle wheels the wheels under the ship that goes around and push the ship to move away, okay? You understand? Then suddenly a door opened behind him and a woman was screaming. A woman was screaming. Why was she screaming? Let's see. Here we have her son, Simon. Her son, Simon, is moving on the deck of the ship. This part, which we call it the deck of the ship or the top surface part of the ship. So the wind was very strong and the woman was screaming, Simon, come back, come back at once. Daniel looked behind him and saw a small boy. He was running across the deck. He was only five years old and the wind was much too strong for him. He fell over, he, sorry, he fell over on the deck and started to cry. So the woman screamed again, save my child. Daniel put out his hand and caught the boy's coat. So Daniel managed to save the boy from drowning. He can save him at the last second from going under the sea. He said, it's too dangerous for children out there. Don't let your child go out anymore. Then they went. Okay, then they yes. went indoors and Daniel started to talk to the woman. This is Daniel. He looked very sad, and this is the woman. Her name is Mary Dawson, and this is her son, Simon, and this is her daughter, Sora. So Daniel Donovan said, what's your name? She told him, my name is Mary Dawson, and this is my son, Simon, and my daughter, Sora. He said, and he, or he asked about her husband. She said that he is in Scotland and we are going home to see him. It's good we are in a strong modern ship. So Mary Dawson said that her uh, husband is in Scotland and they are going back to meet him there. And she was happy because they are in a strong modern ship. But few seconds passed and they can't hear the engines anymore. They can't hear the engines anymore. What had happened? Let's look. Mr. Donovan said Mrs. Dawson suddenly, what has happened to the engines? I can't hear them now. Can you? Daniel listened, she's right, the engines have stopped. So now all of them got scared. 
because the engines have stopped and this ship can't move without the engines because it's not a sailing ship. Sailing ship, I will show you this picture of sailing ship. It's here. Let's have a look. Okay, this is the sailing ship. These, what we call sails. These sails, you can turn it right or left so you can move the ship by the wind. But this ship is not a sailing ship. It's a modern ship and it has to move with its engines. You got it now, you understand? Okay, so when the engines have broken down, shouted Daniel, this isn't a sh sailing ship. It can't move without its engines. A sailing ship can't move without its engines. So they were all afraid and they started to get scared. Now we are moving to the second chapter. The second chapter is called the lighthouse. Do you know what is a lighthouse? Do you know what is a lighthouse? No. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Mama, uh, yes. A lighthouse is a tall building by the sea with a strong light at night to tell the ships about dangerous rocks. If you are in the street, uh, sorry, in the sea, okay, there should be a lighthouse that guides you to move where to avoid any rocks that can crash the ship. So when the engine stopped, the Fort Farshire was about five kilometers east from San Abbs Head. This is a place in Scotland. The ship was traveling north from Hull to Dundee, but the engines start, uh, but, but the wind came from the north. So the Fort Farshire without her engine started to go south again back to England. Yani, yes, my dear. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Can you uh, can you explain again the lighthouse? Can I explain it? As a lighthouse. A lighthouse is a very tall building by the sea. It guides the ship. It tells the ship, okay, that you can't move in this part because there are rocks, so they can crash you understand? No, yes yes okay so because there are strong wind the ship can't move in its way and it's going back again to uh, south to england okay who lives in the a small uh, house next to the lighthouse we have william darling and his wife thompson and their daughter grace grace is our hero Grace's brothers usually lived with them at the lighthouse, but that night they were in Bamberg on the main lane. So we only have three people on the lighthouse that day. Mr. William Dolling, Grace's father, his mother, and Grace. So if anything happened, they were not be able to help them. Okay. Okay, just wait for a second. Okay, here we have Grace and her father. Okay, 
Grace and her father are going up at the lighthouse to light the old lantern. Lantern is a glass box that you put a candle in it to light it. Like Ramadan lantern. So they went there at seven and they went to light the big lantern oil. Grace went with him and William Dorney was a thin, strong man, about 50 years old, and he had big brown eyes in his face. Grace was a young woman, about 22 years old, and she was not very tall or strong. Okay. She said the noise of the wind and rain was terrible there, and they had to shout out to hear each other. Okay, so Grace was Grace was worried if anything would happen that day because the wind was so strong and she was afraid that anyone could won't help and they will not be able to help them. She said, I hope the poor sailors will see this light. It's the blackest night of out there. No moon and no stars. No one can see the light. Let us also hope that there are no ships near the rocks. The storm will wreck a ship that comes near them tonight. What do you mean by wreck? Means to break something completely into pieces. So when we say it's a wreck ship, means it's a broken ship. Okay, here you have. It. So Grace and William Darling were very worried about any passenger who can uh, walk in this uh, part of the sea because the storm is very strong. Now, Grace Darling, her mother and father are sitting inside the lighthouse. Thank goodness, she said, you couldn't help anyone tonight, William. This is Grace's mother. She said, if there is a, wreck, a shipwreck, you wouldn't be able to do anything. The boys aren't here to help you. The boys here means Grace's brother. But Grace was very sorry, she said. But mother, father has to try to save people. It's his job. He can't leave them to die. Grace, no man could draw a boat by himself in this wild sea, said Thompson, which is Grace's mother. She said, calm down, Grace. It's very difficult to row a boat. Row a boat means to move a boat with oars or arms. You can't row a boat by yourself in this wild sea because the storm is very strong and the waves are very high. Yes, Grace, let us be glad for that. And so the three people sat quietly around their table in the warm kitchen and the wind screamed and the big waves crashed against the rocks again, again, and again. Okay, boys and girls, do you have any questions? Okay, now let's move. Okay, you can go back again and read the story and listen again to the video and you are going to follow with me. Let's read. Who was Daniel Donovan? Yes, who can tell me who was Daniel Donovan? Miss, I can. Yes, Miss, sir. I can. I yes, can. Sir. Yes, Sara. Yalla ya Asma. Yalla ya Asma. Uh, he, he was a young engineer about 30 years old. Very good. He is smart hair. Excellent. Her began know that there is something wrong with the engine. 
engine. engine. Very good. Engine. So Daniel Donovan, he was one of the passengers on the Forfarshire. He was young engineer, about 30 years old. He was very smart because he can know that there is something wrong with the engines. What yes, was, what did I okay. What was the Forfarshire? Yes, it Dana? Was a STEM modern it was a STEM modern ship. Very good. The steam means that it moves with its a engines. It moves with its engines. engines. Okay, where did the journey start from and to where did it go? Yes, it started from Hull to Dundee in Scotland. How many people were on the four for Shire? Ten. There were all 60 people. 60. Very good. There were 60 people. Why was it difficult to stand on the deck, uh, on the top part of the ship? Huh? Because yes, the wind was very strong. And the ship was going up and down. Very good. Why did Daniel feel ill? Very good. Why wasn't Daniel happy about the four Farshire's engines? Because they were making very good. Because he can hear some strange noises and the paddle wheels went round slowly. Okay. Now let's read the discuss question. We say that all the passengers were happy because the ship was strong and modern, but Daniel wasn't really happy about the engines. We said before that it was a modern ship and the passengers weren't afraid. They thought that nothing would happen to the ship, but because Daniel was a smart engineer, he knew that there is something wrong with the engines and they were making strange noise and the paddle wheels went round slowly. Okay. Do you have any question about this part? No. Okay. No. Now let's read chapter two. No. Okay, when the engine stopped, the ship started to go back to England? Yeah. Sure. Yes. That night, the ship stopped and there were four people in the lighthouse? Four. No. Uh, four. four. Three. 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 Very good. The lighthouse was far from the mainland? Four. four. No, it four. was not four. 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 Not four. Very good. William Darling was Grace's brother? Four. Four. Father. Father. William went up to light the big lantern at seven o'clock. True. 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 William and Grace shouted to hear each other because of the noise of the cars. Oh, the no, noise of the wind and rain was terrible. True. 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 Okay. Yes. Yes. Grace went to the top of the lighthouse with her father. Two. Yes. Grace put the oil in the lantern and William lit it, lit in the post of light. True. The True. burning lantern usually helps the sailors in the dark nights. True. That night, True. the moon and stars were shining. No, no there was no moon and no stars. Grace hoped that the ship would not come near the rocks. Yes, she was worried and she was afraid that any ship would come near the rocks. William hoped that the sailors would see the light. True. True. Yes, that's true. William's oh. job is to help sailors if there was a shipwreck. True. Yes, this True. is his job. True. That night, William could save anyone because the boys were with him. Oh. Oh. He couldn't oh. save because the boys weren't oh. there. It would be difficult to row a boat in this wild wind. 
True. 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 Okay. Now, do you have any question about our story today? If you won't need to discuss anything, you can ask. Huh? Do you need any help? No. Okay. No, thank you. Okay. So, I, I hope you can read it again. And please answer uh, this question in your sheet, if you got your sheet. Okay. And if you didn't get your sheet, when you come to school next week, please get your sheet and answer the questions. Miss, please, can you ask your question? Ask my question? I don't have any question. Do you have any questions? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, I, want, I, I want your number. No, um, why? <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. When you come to the class, you can ask me anything. Okay, boys and girls. No, I, I didn't come to uh, school. Okay, you can't have my number. You can't have my number. Sorry. Okay. okay. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye. Bye.